Welcome to our video tutorials for getting started with controllers from STW. In this video, we would like to show you how to obtain and install software packages purchased from STW. We have shown in the video, getting started with the starter kit, how you can start up a controller without any additional tools. We will stick with the starter kit for the ESX3CS for this demonstration video as well. If we want to configure and program the controller, we need further tools and software which STW provides in the so-called customer portal. Your sales contact has already talked to you about the customer portal when you purchased hardware and software from STW. On the homepage of STW, you will find information about this in the customer area section. You can see that the customer portal provides individual access. You must therefore register personally if you have not already done so to gain access to the software packages. So in this video we have fictional customer John Doe write an email to SDW Sales asking for personal access to the customer portal. In STW's response are the personal access credentials after STW identifies John Doe as a customer. This access data is not meant for the whole company, but only for one person. This data must be kept locked and must not be disclosed to third parties. We now log into the customer portal using John Doe's credentials. When logging in for the first time, it is necessary to create a password. John has purchased an ESX3CS and everything necessary to program the controller in the C programming language. Therefore, this product appears in the All Products customers list. When we click on this product, we get a list of all packages for documents, tools and software that we can download. We always start with the target support package for the controllers. This package also contains the user manual for the controller. In this user manual, you will always find the chapters getting started and tools with all information on the installation and commissioning of the software, which you can download here. All steps, which we now show in the video, are documented there again in written form. We also need the compiler for the programming language C from the company Hitech. And finally, the free software platform OpenSide from STW, of which we use the latest available version. We can now log out of the customer portal the downloaded packages are in the download directory of the PC and we can install these packages. For the compiler, we still require a license. Since STW is only a reseller of this product, this license is obtained separately. STW asks for certain data from the customers for this purpose because the compiler license is bound to the MAC address of the PC on which the compiler is installed, for example. We start with the installation of the TSP, go to the download area where the downloaded packages are located and unpack the zip file with the TSP. There is an installation routine for the TSP. We run it and detect the different components of the TSP. So we click on Install 
for the installation of the TSP. It is copied by default to the C program files x86 directory and there to the stw subdirectory. However, we can also move it to other directories such as C, stw after installation. The most important thing for functionality is that you have full read and write access to the directory. As we said before, in the TSP we can find the user manual. We had also been able to download it separately from the cloud. From the chapter Install the software, we can see that the next thing we should do is install the compiler. To complete this, we unpack the downloaded zip archive and start the installation. The installation takes a relatively long time. We therefore let this sequence run in fast motion. After the installation, our example customer John Doe has to install the license. There are different license types. We are using a single user license here for demonstration purposes, which locks the compiler to this PC. John Doe received the license information by mail, along with instructions on how to install the license after ordering the compiler. We copy the license file into the default directory under C High Tech Licenses. The compiler is now ready for use. To be able to program an application, we still need a development environment. For the ESX3CS, all sample and template projects are code blocks based. We find this IDE in the TSP again. We click on install here as well and thus start the installation routine. In the user manual, we can find information for an automatic setup of the compiler in connection with code blocks. If this automatic setup does not occur, you can also make all settings manually with the information in the user manual. So now the development environment code blocks is linked with the compiler and you could start programming an application. For programming support and to be able to flash the finished application to the controller, we still need to install OpenSight. OpenSight can be unpacked and copied to any directory. For full functionality of the tool, full read and write access to this directory is required and the part name must not contain any spaces or special characters. We therefore copy the tool to C STW OpenSight, for example. For convenient operation, we create a shortcut with OpenSight on the desktop. We have now prepared our development environment with all the necessary tools. In further videos of this series, we will deal with how to communicate with the controller from a PC, how to bring applications to the controller, 
and how to program the application. I wish you much success with the controllers from STW.